Okay. Yes. So first of all, I would like to introduce our multifunctional sewing machine for you. It's a new model, uh, 618. Yeah. Okay. First of all, I would like to show you these stitches. We have 20 stitches. Uh, this is 1 to 7 and 8 to 14 and 15 to 20. For 1 to 5 stitch is the straight stitches and 6 to 13 is the decorative stitches and 14 to 17 is zigzag stitches and 18 to 20 it is used for button and button hole and we can use this button to select different stitches you can see we have 20 number here yeah, yeah. 20, 20, 20 number here and corresponding to different stages here yeah we can rotate it to yeah. change different stages mm -hmm. yeah and this is hand wheel here to control the needle up and down mm -hmm. and we can see here is an arrow yeah. so every time uh, we rotate this hand wheel we need to follow this arrow direction and uh, anti-clockwise we can see you know so and then this is the thread spider yeah. and this is the uh, bobbin yeah. yeah we can put put some spool here mm -hmm. yeah and this is the bobbin wider saw bobbin wider pin mm -hmm. and this is the handle so that we can take out this uh oh. steel machine yeah, <laughs> yeah. It it's only it too heavy for yeah. girls yeah mm -hmm. because, because it's mental frame, yeah. yeah. Yeah, it is. Mm -hmm. And this is the thread tension disc. Yeah. And then this is the take out lever. Also mental. Yeah, Me it is made mental. of metal. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And this is the thread tension dial. Mm -hmm. And we have nine thread tension to choose. Uh, the bigger number means that the thread tension will be tightened. And smaller number means that the thread tension will be loosened. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and uh, we have some thread guidings here. Yeah, yeah. You can see these we three have numbers. Yeah, have numbers here. Mm -hmm. One, two, two, three, four. Yeah. And later we will show you how to threading the sewing machine. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, next, this is the needle bar, and. We have the presser foot here. Mm -hmm. Presser foot. It's changeable, right? Yes, we can change the presser foot when we have different sewing purpose. Maybe the uh, button hole. Button hole. Yeah. Button hole presser foot. Yeah. And zipper. And have foot. Yeah, yeah, have zipper. Things. Yeah. And this is the bottom line, bottom thread here. Bottom thread, mm. and thi this is the reversing button. We can use this to reinforce the thing after sew when we finish sewing. Yeah, just press down the button, then we can use this function. Yeah, this one is big size. Yeah, it's also can good we for big fingers. Yes, I think. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Very convenient, mm -hmm. yeah. And this is on-off switch. Um, and we have two speed here. You can see L means low speed, and H means high speed. I think low speed is for the beginners. And if you are experienced one, you can use high speed. It will be faster, yeah. So this model is two speeds. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And uh, we have draw here. Yeah, draw here. Oh. You can put some uh, thread back in this drawer. Yeah, some yeah. bobbins, some spools, bobbin, spools, and also some uh, needles or threader. Yeah, it's convenient. Yeah, it's convenient. Mm -hmm. So uh, after taking off the drawer, we have a free arm here. Free arm here. We can use this free arm to seal sleeves or trousers. Yeah, very convenient for us. 
And for the back of the sewing machine, we have a power jack and full pedal jack here. Who you can this? Yeah. This is our full pedal. Big mm. size. Big size. And we had we, we also can use this full pedal to control the speed. Yeah. yeah. And uh, we can and we can also use uh, this on off on off button to control the sewing machine. This is main switch. Yeah, it's when main we turn switch. Off this switch we yeah. can use this machine, right? Yeah. And on the button of the sewing machine, do you have uh, anti slate here? One, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. To protect the sewing machine from move mm -hmm. when we are sewing. Yeah, and we also have the uh, sticker here, which means that this sewing machine is qualified. You can see uh, it's printed QC. the QC pass here, mm -hmm. means that this sewing machine is uh, checked by our QC and uh, all of the function is okay. Mm -hmm. yeah. So, uh, next. next, we will show you how to threading the sewing machine. Or we will put a screw here on this thread spindle. Then put the thread, go through the thread tension disk. We can use, we can, we can look at this uh, threading guidance number one. Yeah, and then down through the gap, we can see the thread guidance number two. And then go through the takeout level. Yeah, number three. And then go through the hole on the needle bar. is the number four. Yeah. Then the upper thread is finished. Then we uh, put the bottom thread. Okay, now we will thread the bottom thread. Uh, first of all, we need to leave out the passive foot. Otherwise, we cannot uh, take out this cover. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then put the thread uh, clockwise, bottom thread clockwise. Then we uh, rotate this hand wheel, yeah, anti-clockwise for maybe one two, two, one, one, uh, one, two, two, two circle. Circles. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Now the bottom thread is yeah. up. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, bottom thread is picked up by uh upper our thread. needle. Uh, upper thread. Then we leave about uh fifteen centimeters here. And we have cutter for this model. Yeah. yeah, you have cutter. Finish the threading? Yes, it is finished. Put back the cover. Yeah. And later we will show some basic functions for you. Okay, okay first okay. of all, uh, we need an adapter. The power. Yeah, power. Connect the. Connect. Yeah, power jack here. Mm -hmm. Then we should uh, put on the put on the fabric. Yeah. Yeah, this is main switch here. First of all, we need to open this switch. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Then we put the fabric under the passive foot. Yeah. And we also have lights here, uh, which will help us to see the fabric clear. Okay, first of all, I will show you the four stitch. Choose four. To rotate this button to four. Straight line. Yeah, straight line. 
and then uh, rotate this hand wheel uh, anti-clockwise to make sure there's no flat jamming. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Then we uh, open this uh, button to low speed. High speed. And we can use this button to reverse the wind. the stage 4 and this is the reverse sewing okay next I will choose yes okay let's try let's try it number 9 number 9 and then a low speed It's, it's nice. beautiful. Yeah, so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Decorative number nine. Number stitches nine. number nine. Okay, next I will show the six set stitches. How about seventeen? Yeah. Okay, seventeen. Yeah. Every time we change the stitches, mm -hmm. we need to make sure the needle uh, is in its high ace position, otherwise this needle will be bent. Mm -hmm. 17? Yeah, 17. Okay. I'll try it. Yeah. Seventeen. Six set. Six set stitches. Yeah. Seventeen. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. So that's all for the uh, stitches that I want to show for you. Okay. Um, hey Bella. Eh? If I use up the bottom side, mm -hmm. what uh, should we do? Don't worry. We have the widening function, and I think you are experiencing okay, this. Let me try. Yeah. Okay. Okay, we can use this. Uh, we can put that one bottom bobbin. Yeah. And we put the bottom bobbin, empty bobbin, and here winding. And we should take off the upper flat. Upper flat. Cast yeah. When we start this machine, the needle will up and down, yeah. and the thread maybe will jam. Right? Yeah, yeah. So we should take take off it. Mm -hmm. Then we circle this thread for this bottom empty bobbin. Yeah. About three to four circle. Then let's try. Maybe. I would like to use the foot pedal. Okay. Let's try. And when we winding, we should put this winding bobbin uh, spoon at the right side. Yeah. We have left side. Yeah, to lock this bobbin. Yeah. And right side. Mm -hmm. And let's try the foot pedal. Yeah, we can use the full pedal to control the speed more convenience. Okay. 
This is for our wedding function. Yeah, it's very convenient for us when we don't, don't, when don't use our the button bobbing. Yeah. button bobbing. Yeah. Let's see. So that's all for the uh, new model 618.